Hello. So in this problem, we are given uh, a plot of the force against uh, time. This is the force, the X component of the force and is in Newtons. So over here we have one, two, three, four seconds. And over here we have zero, one, two, three newtons. And we plot, oh, we have a negative over here. So minus one. And the plot looks like this. It's a difficult angle. See if I can do it. Yeah, there it is. And then from two to four, it remains at negative one. Should be just a straight line. We are given some more information. So this force is acting on an object that has a mass of two kilograms. And you're asked to draw um, a graph of the acceleration versus the time. So the thing to notice here is that force equals mass times acceleration, which is Newton's second law. Force is a vector, acceleration is a vector, Mass is the proportionality constant between force and acceleration. So mathematically, force and acceleration are the same thing. And also in the real world, you never have one without the other. If you see an acceleration, there's a force. If there's a force, there's an acceleration. They are the same thing. But the because there is a proportionality constant, the mass, the values are going to be different. So the acceleration is going to be um, force divided by mass. And here we're just looking at a component. So we can remove the arrow, just put the acceleration in x. And this, of course, is going to be, sorry, the force in x. And this, of course, is going to be the the acceleration in X. So if the mass is two kilograms, then we just have to divide this by two. So this one is gonna be 1.5. This is gonna be one. It's gonna be 0 0.5, this is gonna be zero. And this is gonna be negative 0 0.5. And this is not the plot of the force anymore. This is the plot of the acceleration in X, which is in units of meters per second squared. Right, so mass and acceleration are exactly the same thing. You don't have one without the other. The only difference is this proportionality constant, the mass. And so we just adjusted the axis over here, over here so that it's half since you're divided by the two kilograms. And the units, well, if uh, force is going to be mass, which is kilograms, acceleration is meters per second squared. So if we divide that by kilograms, we get the meters per second squared that we put over there. Right? So units are consistent as well as they should be. All right. Thank you.